welcome back after completing the introduction video i welcome you all to the lesson 1 linux introduction learning objectives explain os architecture of os and types of os familiar with the concept of open source explain linux differentiate between linux unix and windows first of all what is a computer a computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data now what is an operating system operating system is a software program used to manage your hardware resources and provide an environment for applications to execute so what is a kernel kernel is the core component of an operating system kernel provides user interface between applications and hardware of the system the main function of the kernel architecture include managing cpu memory and io devices os architecture the hardware essentially consists of a cpu like intel or amd along with a ram and a hard disk with supporting electronic chips known as chipset the core component of an os is known as kernel there is a shell layer that acts as an interface between kernel and users this is the operating system you can use the applications that perform specific task on the shell layer now types of os so we have two types of os the first is desktop os such as windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 ubuntu etc and then we have server os such as red hat solaris aix cent os etc now what is an open source when the source code of a software is shared with the public for free it is referred to as open source open source software is developed by the developers community and shared voluntarily with the public now what is linux linux is a family of open source operating systems that can be modified and distributed by anyone linux is an open source operating system based on Linux kernel Linux was developed by Linus Torvald specially for Intel platforms Linux and Ubuntu Linux is a kernel using which many Linux operating systems have been released the releases are known as flavors some Linux flavors are Debian Fedora CentOS Ubuntu SUSC etc Linux and unix linux is developed by linus torvalds and a community effort which has its own standard called linux standard base lsp unix follows the posix standard linux versus windows linux is customizable as it is an open source operating system unlike windows windows differ from linux in term of architecture linux has monolithic kernel whereas windows has micro kernel linux is more secure when compared to windows to launch applications linux uses vertical memory whereas windows uses the physical memory linux boots from any portion whereas windows will boot from the primary partition when you use the mbr partition scheme in linux the desktop must be installed as an application whereas in windows it is part of the kernel linux is case sensitive whereas windows is not case sensitive awesome now let's have some takeaways Linux is a kernel and is like an engine of the car and the car is the OS in the automobile industry different brands uses the same engine in a very similar way multiple Linux distributions of Linux use 
the same kernel open source software is free for the general public windows and linux are both operating system with different architectures now to make these sessions more interesting and interactive we have introduced some knowledge check questions you can answer them in the comment section correct answers will be shared on our instagram page so make sure to check out our instagram page and look for the highlights linux for beginners question number 1 what is the main reason to choose linux operating system you have four options first no license cost required and is open source second ideological preferences of the system administrator third availability of mandatory applications and tools fourth skills of the administrators and staff comment down your answer now question number 2 which of the following is a linux flavor a ubuntu b solaris c aix or d hp slash unix now question number 3 what is a software that can be freely accessed and modified called a synchronous softwares b packet softwares c open source softwares or d middlewares thank you that's all for this video if you want to know the correct answers you have to check our instagram page and find out the highlight linux for beginners now i will see you in the next one